The inventions of the human race over time have been instrumental to our own progress. While the light bulb is bright and the iPhone is smart, few inventions were quite as fruitful as the earliest irrigation systems used in ancient Egypt and Mesopotamia. Students in sixth grade at Poland Middle School had a hand in inventing their own irrigation systems. Their challenge was to build a miniature civilization with soil, sand, rocks, grass, buildings, and crops. However, a flow of fresh water would be added later, representing the flooding of the Nile River. Too much water, and the civilization would erode away. Not enough water, and the crops in the civilization would fail. So we're going to add holes here so the water could flow further properly, because if we got too much, uh, it could overflow and destroy the crops. The secret was in controlling the water flow. In the weeks preceding construction, students had learned about levees, dams, and canals. So what's the benefit of having a dam oh. as part of our water control system? To stop water, extra water from coming into an area. It's coming from right here, and then we're going to have these gates. They're going to be right here. We can lift up and down with a rope, and then the water will come through. We have levees here, so our civilizations don't get ruined. And then we're going to have the water coming in through here. Um, feeding crops are here, feeding crops are here, and feeding crops are here. With limited supplies, the students had to make sections for housing and farming using just rocks, soil, sand, and clay. So the sand, we choose to put the rocks in the sand so the sand doesn't dissolve. The hardest part of all of this was us separating the soil where we'll be able to get the water through as a river. Despite the difficulties, the intuitive students of Poland Middle School utilized their knowledge of water-stopping systems and became architects of ancient Mesopotamia. Okay, the gate. And more.